G'day, good afternoon, and welcome back to another vlog from your boy Sports Cub. And yes, I know, I'm wearing a Roosters jersey, and that feels weird to me because I don't actually support the Roosters. I support the Gold Coast Titans, but today we are not repping the Gold Coast Titans because we just threw away a 26-0 lead against the Red Cliff Dolphins. What do you mean? But today we're not talking about the Titans. No, 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 no. Today's Anzac Day, and we are watching the traditional Sydney Roosters against St. George Illawarra Dragons clash at Allianz Stadium on Anzac Day. And it's nice and early. It's about 2 p.m. local, and I'm leaving early because we want to catch some of the Anzac Day festivities. I'm done sitting here. I want to get onto the match, and I'm sure you want to see the match as well. So let's go. Rooftop parking. Not a soul in sight. We're about to head over there. And just quickly, while I make my way over there, I just wanted to say that it's particularly ironic that I'm wearing this, given that the Roosters are one of my actually more, not hated teams, but teams that I don't generally get along with being a Titan supporter because of the two massive finals in which they eliminated us. Both were completely our own doing. I don't know if you remember for those OG NRL Titans fans, our 2010 prelim final where we just were like 8-6 down at half time and we lost 32-6 or something like that. I was just a wee little boy and 2021, two years ago, who can forget? We went 12-0 down, then we rallied to be 12-12, 24-12 down, we rallied to be 24-all, we have a shot at a field goal, we miss Sam Walker slots a field goal and we go all the length full fielder just for Brian Kelly to not pass it to David for feeder. And I remember just being absolutely heartbroken and livid. I threw my Titans gear on the floor. I was pissed. I was so done with everything. But anyway, that's just a little fact file in for you today. We're not, we're not thinking about that. We're just repping some roosters and we're gonna go watch a classic Anzac Day match. We've grabbed some rosemary from donating a gold coin to Legacy where you can support our veteran families. I highly recommend donate to them. It's a good cause, on a, especially on a day like today. Apparently there's someone on a parachute delivering the game day ball right now as we speak. He's gonna parachute into the stadium. This is crazy. This is crazy. Look, there he is. He's coming down. Geelong, here he comes. Oh my word. Are you kidding me? That is insane. Honestly, don't care what you say. That is absolutely freaking phenomenal. Great to be joined the sideline by a couple more. How about that? Mitchell Robertson and Pete Craig. Not quite how we wanted it, but there we go.
as you today. But I reckon the Roosters are going to get up by six or eight. It's going to be close. It's always going to be close. It's going to be an Anzac Day thriller. But the Roosters are going to get up just, just. I believe in the industry, that's what we call an equaliser. Spiced up a little bit, five, ten minutes. tell what happened. It's another try. They're up by 18 points. Or maybe not. Yeah, he was tackled there. Get up there. Get up there. that one and the game needed that one before half time and they got it. Fell in the lap. Right place, right time.
come from? Oh, we suddenly have a game on our hands. Oh, just under half an hour left. Four points in it. Set of six coming up. Come on, Roosters, you gotta hold on. They've just tied the game. Oh my word, three tries in 10 minutes. And it's been all down the right hand side as well. There's no defense there at all. This kick coming up is monumental. Ooh. That is lamb shanked it. He's absolutely lamb shanked it. And we stay with a tie ball game, 20 minutes to play. What's gonna happen next? But there's a potential sin binning here. Victor Radley's gone for 10. Ooh, and now they got 10. They've got to defend this next 10 minutes or 12. Come on, Roosters. Oh, here we go again. Look at the right hand side. Drive him out. Drive him out. There we go. See you later! Oh, oh Teddy, oh! The vital kick to put him in front. I won. There's six minutes left. Come on, Roosters. Back to full strength, boys. Where are you going? Great defense, boys. We've got a captain's challenge, though. Someone there, I didn't even notice there was a streaker. There he is, there he is, look, he's over there. Yeah, mate, what an absolute wanker. Usually I'm good at noticing them, but uh, I didn't actually notice there was a streaker. I was too busy in the game. Just take it in, boys, take it in. Go, go, Teddy. Let's count the clock down. And they're going to have just under a minute left to go the full length of the field. Do it. That is gonna do it. There was a gap, but he dropped his lollies. Oh, what a shame! He's dropped them cold. He's dropped his lollies. There was a bit of a gap, but he butter fingered it up, and the Roosters win. Yes! What an attack day class. What a class to remember. That's one for the ages. Oh boy! Well, he's very quick to jump ship. He's gone to the pies. Calling what? What a comeback! You got both teams going on today, mate. How good is that? Essendon have just absolutely capitulated. Oh, yes. Good on you, mate. Roosters, Luke Keery. Yeah, no surprises there. I just want to say thank you to the Dragons, Roosters, all the fans that came out tonight. Uh, thank you.
My voice is absolutely gone. Is this what it's like being a Rooster supporter? This far out. Honestly, I could get around being a Rooster supporter a bit more than just this game. What a match. What a classic. Anzac Day classic. And over in the Collingwood Essendon match, which I couldn't get around to going to, that was a classic too. Essendon blew a massive lead, but that would have been good to go to. We'll be there next year. Far out though. Far out. The Titans, yeah, the Titans give me this for all the wrong reasons, but the Roosters, they seem to get it done when it matters most. Ooh, oh my goodness me, my voice has not recovered and unfortunately we could not find a place that did two up because all the pubs were shut. I think it's just a day thing and we're going to have to try it next year legally. Although we can try it privately right here, right now in my own bedroom. We've actually fast tracked to the living room. So here I've got two coins, I've got two $1 coins. From my very small understanding of it, you got to flip the coins and if it lands on both heads, i.e. two up, or two tails for that matter, um, you double your money or you quadruple your money. Or I don't know. I don't know the maths behind. I didn't even know how it works. But what I'm going to do is let's just simulate me going into a pub today. So I would have walked into a pub and I would have bet just a tenner. I would have just gone like, mate, tenner, two up. Tell me if I win or not. So if it's two heads or two tails, I'm going to say that I doubled my money and I won two up today. So let's flip both coins at once. It's landed. And I'm going to show you and I'm going to prove to you that I did not cheat. And I got one tail and one head. So I lost me tenner at Burwood RSL. There we go. I lost my money. I suck it two up and I should never play it ever again. But anyways, just going to wrap it up right here. What a match to go to. Anzac Day thriller. Classic to remember. I'm going to finish this by wrapping it up and saying go the Gold Coast Titans. They are my team. I will be at some Titans matches this year. So just stick around if you want to see me go through some absolute torture watching my boys in blue. But till then, how good is this club? Look, you know, I have been following NRL for a very long time and I don't know what it's like to support a club that is actually good. So are the Roosters my adopted New South Wales team that I go to once the Titans become eliminated from a season? Who knows? Find out. Stay tuned to find out whether I keep supporting these guys or not. But till then, they put on an absolute show today. They almost capitulated like Essendon did, but they didn't. And Kiri came in clutch and slotted a fine field goal to remember. But till then, I've been your boy Sportscom. Thanks again. Like, comment and subscribe if you've enjoyed this vlog. And stay tuned for many more Matchday Experience vlogs coming your way right here on this channel. But till then, peace out. I call the roosters, yeah!